we are uh, absolutely delighted, Mr. Ron Sim and the V3 group uh, v, uh, to establish the V3 professorship. This is an important day uh, for Annie. Uh, so congratulations, Annie. Because a lot of this region's economy based on families and how they do over time. And this issue of uh, issues of succession, issues of adaptation, how does your business model change over time? How do you innovate over time? These become essential for our businesses to succeed. It's not just by accident, but rather by effort and insight. And I'm really glad that this professorship allows us to, to continue and build the research and the thought leadership that goes into supporting it. Eighty-six business families who responded. So this survey is actually to capture data. 42% of the 86 sample are actually only able to do a turnover of about 5 million. We do have people who are able to clock 100 million and above at 22%. 80% of the respondents say, yes, very important. 74% of the sample says they cannot, don't innovate because competition in Singapore is so stiff. We need three C's. We need commitment from the family. We need capabilities within and building with partners. And of course, collaborating with both big and small companies. The three C's of what makes innovation different from many of our family firms. And because the family is the unit, as Ron said in his interview with us last year, the commitment of the family is very important. Capabilities of the business is very critical as well. And then the final C is collaboration. Standard innovation uh, technology would classify it into more than three types. So product or service innovation are what most of our SMEs are doing. Process innovation, uh, many of the families are trying it and that's because many government grants are there to help you. But it's only 29% of our responses. Organisational, that really takes work, that really takes time and about 27%. Second C, very, very important, capabilities. I mentioned that you need to have the right catalyst. You actually need both internal catalyst and external catalyst. So we call it the balance. Our many SMEs really don't know who to go to to help them do innovation. They didn't even really dare to reach out to the government uh, think tank. So the A-star, the IMDA, the ESG, Technology on its own without talent does not work. Every driver of growth and innovation has the human part of it, so the human side of technology. Ownership is the first productivity. Uh, imagination is the second productivity. Execution is the third productivity. All right. So I think it's important that if you own it, oh. you imagine it, you lead it up. It's going to lead to innovation. Because the property market was really soft, I was looking for new ways to grow the business. Mm. And that's what spurred the sort of innovation journey that I've then taken Orem on. So it's always leveraging the learnings, the resources, the expertise from previous businesses and mm. keep innovating in products and services. I think first finding uh, your own benchmark in your own industry and then after that finding benchmark in other industries and then the third would also be finding out what technology is doing that can potentially disrupt your own industry. We actually did a sandbox approach right, um, which was we did the innovation or try and test bit certain products or ideas outside of the core business.